talk about the setup for our own markets every, everything that you should look at this morning as well as some of the individual stocks that are making news as well so we have our research team here to really fill us in with the trade setup vivek surbhi nigel are all with me now to prep you up for this trading session guys a very good morning to all of you and vivek coming to you first the handover is definitely you know a little bit weak the implied open is still positive but take us through everything we should track well uh, good morning you know what a day uh, what a difference in sentiment single trading session has made all right i think there seems to be some problem vivek with your uh, audio we're just going to fix that but surbhi in the meantime you want to run us through some of the important stock specific news flow that came through yeah so let me start with phoenix mills the company has incorporated a wholly owned subsidiary orcus logistics and industrial parks so it's an in, in, uh, interesting diversification over there next is kc international the company wins new orders worth 1000 odd crores across various businesses ntpc the company completes the trial operations of its telangana super thermal power project texmaco rail uh, there is a board meeting on 15th of september to consider a fundraise ge power the company has received a purchase order from vedanta the base value of this order is 25 crores and the execution timeline is around 14 months and lastly green fly will also be on our radar the operations in their wholly owned subsidiary which is situated in west africa is disrupted due to the ongoing process the company says that it is an uncertain situation currently and difficult to assess the financial impact <coughs> All right, Surbhi. Thanks a lot for that entire list of stocks. Uh, Vivek, coming back to you now. You know we were going through all of the cues, and you started by telling us about, of course, how the slide on Wall Street was really led by the tech names yesterday. Well, you're absolutely right. You know, sharp stock difference in sentiment. You know, in a single trading session, like you mentioned, you know, at the start of the show, the U.S. markets too have given. Quite a muted handover. Nasdaq saw quite a steep sell-off, largely driven by the fact that you saw a sell-off in Apple post the launch event, and also Oracle, uh, given the muted guidance, saw a sharp sell-off. The other important cue that we are tracking today is crude oil prices. Crude oil prices yesterday jumped almost two percent. This on the back of the fact that OPEC, you know, demand guidance continued to remain quite robust, and also production. Supplies continue to remain quite tight. So, at this point of time, Brent futures now hovering around the $92 a barrel mark. Now, coming to the Indian markets, Indian markets yesterday, you know, there was a sharp underperformance as far as the broader end of the markets were concerned, and that really was the story of the day. In fact, the mid-cap and small-cap indices that were, you know, trending near lifetime highs yesterday saw a very sharp sell-off, and you know, driven by multiple factors and multiple fears, especially a liquidation of a portfolio in a hedge fund. But you know, what actually happened was that the NSE advanced decline ratio weakened quite considerably to one is to Eight in favor of the declines. Now a lot of key events that happened overnight, you know, that will have an impact on our market. So August CPI inflation coming in at 6.83, slightly lower than what the poll was, and July IIP data at 5.7 percent uh, versus the poll of 5.2 percent, so slightly better than expectations. Uh, coming to the primary market, you know, RR Cable IPO opens today, an important one to watch out for. EMS IPO day three, you know, end of uh, subscription. That particular IPO was subscribed over 75 times. So IPO market activity continues to remain quite robust. Asian markets are weak. Gift Nifty is. Indicating a slightly you know, gap up start for our own markets. All right, so a slightly higher start, around 20 points higher is where we're at on the Gift Nifty right now. Vivek, thanks a lot for getting us all of those cues. Finally, let's also talk about how things are really looking on the future side. So Nigel is here to fill us in with all of that action. Hi, Nigel. Well, hi. Good morning, uh, Pavitra. Hope you're doing well in uh, in Delhi. But uh, you know, in terms of the markets, well, yesterday, in fact, was a little bit of a weak session. Maybe the bulls were getting a little bit overconfident, so we had uh, a bit of a pullback from the broader markets, which is par for the course. Now the uptrend is intact, particularly on the Nifty, though in fact it's going to be a bit of a test for both the broader markets, given the kind of selling that we've seen, and a couple of these stocks have really run up, and the IT index, because as you all were mentioning, the Nasdaq was under pressure overnight. What did the FIs do? Well, they added close to 10,000 uh, long contracts, and now the long positioning goes to around 63 percent. And as I've been saying for the last couple of months, we haven't seen this sort of a long positioning. Typically, you like to have some shots in the system because that's what forces them to cover out, and that's what causes a bit of a bounce. On the Nifty, the options data, well, highest open interest we have at around twenty thousand one hundred call, and on the put side, nineteen thousand nine hundred a put. The premium on both of them are around thirty thirty-five uh, points odd, which brings us to the levels. On the upside, the yesterday's high will be a bit of a resistance zone, so twenty thousand one hundred, twenty thousand one hundred fifty. On the downside, you'll see the uptrend is intact. You know, till that nineteen thousand eight hundred fifty odd level holds out. And the Nifty Bank that plays out the weekly expiry today, and the bulls will be counting on the Nifty Bank to hold one end up. Yes, we saw some writing at around the forty-five thousand six hundred call, 
And now that the premium fell from around 250 rupees to around 100 uh, rupees. So we'll keep an eye out on that one. And stocks that we're looking at, well, the new stock that's in the FNO band, IEX as well as Nalco. While on the flip side, the one that's coming out of the band will be PNB. So that one could be in for some action, as you all have been stating. The gift nifty suggests a bit of a flattish to a mildly positive start. Back to you. All right, Nigel, thanks a lot for taking us through how things are looking on the future side as well. But with that, it is time for a short break on the show. When we come back, we're going to shift focus to the macro picture. So we'll talk about the August inflation data that came out and the July industrial production fine print that came through. All of the details on this when we come back.